Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are, as you're checking in today to Steve Thorne TV. This is Steve Thorne coming to you live from Tampa, Florida. I want to thank you for checking in. I'd like to talk to you today a little bit deeper about the law of association and the law of attraction, which are, of course, two things that we cover in all of our sales meetings. So in the event that I have the opportunity to work with you in the new year, 2016, it's here. Uh, we're going to be going into these laws in detail, and this will be some of the content that you get live. Uh, but let's talk about it and go a little bit deeper here today. I'm going to be using the whiteboard, which we don't always do uh, on these videos, but let's get right into this. The two laws that, again, that I want to address and talk about how they are connected is, number one, the law of association. Law of association. We all know that the people that we hang around with affect us. I want to talk to you today about a few different ways that they do affect us, four specifically. Number one way the law of association and the people you associate with will affect you as a salesperson, a business person, person in a relationship, a manager, whatever the case may be. Number one is what those people are reading and what they're putting into their minds, what they listen to on TV, what they're reading, the information that's coming into their minds affects them. The law of association says this, People around us don't control us, but they will influence us. So, what someone has read will influence you. Case in point, recently, just a few weeks ago, had the wonderful opportunity to reconnect with one of my old sales managers from the Anthony Robbins organization. A great guy recommended years ago a book. It was called Horse Sense. He talked about business and opportunity. That book back then affected the person I became and the person that I am today. I still think about that book and the subject matter that was in that. I think about another friend of mine who's actually been a speaker on my organization or in my, on my team, a gentleman that uh, came from the Home Shopping Network. One time he recommended a book called What Clients Love. A book, I loved it. That book affected my presentations to this day. I referenced that information. So that's the first way that the law of association affects you. The second way is number two, the places that the people you are associating with hang out. If you're associating with someone and they say, hey, I'm going to be over here today, why don't you come and meet me, or I'd like to go have a cup of coffee with you, or I'm having a business meeting today, that where they go and the people that they hang around with is going to influence you. Law of association affects you the second way by the people you associate with, where do they hang out with? This is going to affect you because that will tie directly into who they, who they know. There's an old saying in relationship marketing, sometimes it's not who you know, but who they know. So many times a person is once removed from someone that you're associating with will have a profound impact on you. How will that happen? You're associating with someone, their extended network ultimately affects you because of what the, those people are reading and thinking and, and who they're hanging around with, but it specifically is going to come back to you because you will be meeting at some point in time. You will be influenced or you will meet with, you will network with, you will get in some situation where you will be affected by who they know. This is important, the way the law of association affects you. And the fourth way is, and this is very important, how they spend or invest not only their time, but their money. How we treat money is a reflection of things that are going on and will also be a seed that will be planted into our financial universe because if you're treating money disrespectfully, or if a person has certain beliefs about money and you associate with that person, it will affect you. It doesn't have to control you, but it's going to affect you. Therefore, it will influence you. So, if they are spending their money wisely or frivolously, that will affect you, and it, and it could affect you in a negative way. If they're recommending or they're talking about investments and things that they've done in a very wise fashion with their money, that will affect you in a positive way and cause you to prosper and get a better return on investment because the fourth law of association says how people that you associate with spend their money will affect you. 
Let's talk about how we can tie this into the second law that we talk about. And that is the law of, based on that principle that we remember from the, the secret, Think and Grow Rich, and so many different books and bodies of knowledge that are bought into what we attract. And the person we are will attract things that happen to us. So, let's talk about this a little bit. These four areas that are affected by the law of association and how they will impact us, they will affect the person you become, how you develop as a human being, your personal development, if you will. Since these things are going to affect you, the person you become will affect what you attract. This is Steve Thorne signing off here in Tampa, Florida. I look forward to seeing you in your office or back here again on Steve Thorne TV. And again, I want to wish you a great day.